Okay, so we are back. And so uh, to start, we're going to take the paper, straight paper, landscape style, not up, not up and down, not up and down, but side to side. This is landscape. This is portrait. Okay, portrait, landscape. Okay, I'm going to fold it over, corner to corner, book style, right? Not a hot dog, hamburger style, okay? Then we're going to fold it over one more time, corner to corner, nice and neat. So the book looks neat, okay, corner to corner. See how I'm matching my corner? Corner to corner, and then... You can even use your scissors, the other side, to make a nice crisp, crisp line. Okay, so so far we have it first page, second, third, fourth. We have four pages now. One, two, three, four. Now we're going to make eight. So let's fold it one more time, corner to corner, cor this corner. And if it doesn't go here, just adjust it so it goes corner to corner. Hold the corners and now fold outside. Use your scissors and make a nice crisp line so your book is ready. Okay, now we have this part. Let's count the pages that we have. We have now, okay, now we don't have the pages yet. Open it like this, okay? And we have one, two, three, four, okay? Now look here. Don't cut it on the wrong page. Don't cut it when it's open here. Cut it at a fold line. So now where it's open, but at a fold line, you're gonna go to the middle. You're gonna go to the middle, no longer than the middle, okay? And then we're gonna learn how to fold it to make a book, okay? So we have one, two, three, four. We folded it and cut it to the middle. Now we're gonna open it this way. So fold this part over like this. The back is this, this way. And you're gonna flip it Put it down this way and let these two folded papers that have two pages stand up and these two being on the table that don't have two pages. These are single page, single page, and these have two folds. Now you're going to slowly fold it, making an X, making a cross. See how I made a cross or an X? If you look at it this way, it's an X. If you look at it this way, it's a cross. And now we're gonna fold the pages very gently this way. Make sure they align. Use your scissors. And now we have a fold book, okay? And I'm gonna keep replaying that part of the video so you can see it nice and over and over uh, parts until you get it. I will also walk and around and help you so that we can get the book um, situated um, so let's count our pages. So let's number. This is a uh, page where you're going to put a title. So put a line. And then you're going to say written by. And you're going to put a line. And you can going to say illustrated by. And you're going to put your name there. And I ran out of space in this small book, but I would like also the date and class. You can also put it somewhere on top, date and class. And here it is where you can put your class code. Perfect. Now let's number the pages. And we're going to say page one. Two. Okay, if it's not laying flat enough, straighten it up. Three, four, five, six. And we have beautiful seven pages we can illustrate. Seven. Excellent. Now, this is what I was trying to explain early in the video where we need to glue the pages so they are nice and sturdy. Like this one opens up and there is just no space between it. So we now still have these spaces, okay? So what we need to do is we're gonna need to start gluing. And we're gonna first glue page one and two. 
I need to get my glue stick. Okay, so I got my glue stick and always you're going to put the glue between those two pages and just glue one or two pages at a time. So you can see how it's supposed to fold and put the glue right there. So this is the title page. I'm going to put my glue there like that and I'm going to glue the page one on top of it. Okay, this one looks like it can be glued, right? Second page, nice and straight. Make sure you straighten up as you glue it. So it's nice and sturdy. Okay, let's see. Number four needs to be glued. So I'm gonna put it under. It's there. On the other side. A little bit of glue goes long way, a long way. You don't need to spend a lot of glue on it because it will hold. Once it gets dry, it will keep our book nice and sturdy. A little bit will go a long way. You don't need to cover the whole entire page. Just a little, just to tack the pages a little bit, and that's gonna give you a beautiful little pocketbook. Um, this video is not gonna help me uh, create the big book because the page is too big for me to show you, but it's exactly the same style. And I'll show you and demonstrate how to do it with a bigger paper in person. But right now, you saw the whole process. It's just the size is bigger, that's all, okay? Once you have it done, write. Your, think about your title, and we talked about these three things. You can pick visit to zoo, visit to aquarium, or visit to aviary bird sanctuary. So pick your theme and don't title it just visit to zoo. Give it, give it your um, own title, like my day at zoo, or Frank at zoo, or Ainsley and grandma at zoo. You can give it any title you like with the theme of zoo, aquarium, aviary, because it will be your book. Okay, I can't wait to see your books and I can't wait the, to see the final version of you illustrating and writing your own children's book. This is a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful ELA, English Language Arts Standard for creative writing. So I am so excited that we're gonna get started on this. Now is your turn.